Well, flooding in Sorrento Valley is always a common sight during storms. Our tender reporter Jennifer Kastner joins us from there. Jen. Lindsay, Steve, it's dry right now. It's been dry for about an hour, but the big problems are still the debris and all of the flooding. Look at this. This is Carroll Canyon Road. If you look at the ground, you can see all of the mud, the rocks over here. We've got road signs that have washed up off of the road on uh, past over the sidewalk and onto the grass. And if you look across the street over here, you can see the westbound lanes. You've got all of that flooding over there. This road has been closed down all day, but look at this. You can still see people continuing to drive through it. They're not supposed to be doing that at this time. This isn't the only area of Sorrento Valley that's had problems today. About a mile away from here, let's go to our video. About a mile away, we came across a closure on Sorrento Valley Road at Sorrento Valley Boulevard. As you may know, that is a very busy area just under the freeway. Crews were pumping water out of that river that's right next to Sorrento Valley Road, pumping that water out to prevent an overflow of water and the possibility of mass flooding. But of course, that water pumping was and may still be creating traffic delays. And then one more area to tell you about Roselle Street that's just off of Sorrento Valley Road. That's also a mess right now. We were over there about an hour and a half ago. We saw at least one car that was flooded out. That whole roadway of Roselle totally shut down right now in a business park area, a very dangerous area at this time. Let's go back to you. All right, thank you, Jen.